In this video, we're going to do a problem involving a simple differential equation. It says, show that y equals c times e to the ax is a solution to this differential equation for any choice of our constant c. And then part b wants us to solve this differential equation uh, under these conditions. This is called uh, an initial condition. Let's go ahead and, and do part a first, so solution. So to show um, that this is a solution to this differential equation, all you have to do is plug it in. So I'm going to go ahead and write down y again. So y is c times e to the ax. And now let's go ahead and take the derivative of that. So the c is a constant, and so it hangs out. And then the derivative of uh, e to the x is e to the x, but here it's e to the ax. So it'll be e to the ax times, and then you have to use the chain rule. You have to take the, the derivative of the inside function. So the inside function is ax, so its derivative is just a, because the derivative of x is 1. Okay, so we end up with c a e to the ax. Okay, so now let's plug into the de. So plug this into, so plug into the de. Let's plug it into the differential equation. Use a different color to indicate that we're doing that. So we have dy dx, that's the left hand side. So that's this, right? That's dy dx. dy dx is y prime. So ca e to the ax. Okay. And we have to show that that is equal to a times y. Okay. That's equal to a times y. In fact, I'm going to put the dy dx here. dy dx, just to make it really clear. So dy dx is equal to that. And this is equal to. We want to show it's equal to a times y, so we can pull out the a here. So this is a parentheses c e to the a x. You see that? I just pulled out the a, and I did that because what's this? This is this big thing in parentheses is y. This is a times y. Look at that, beautiful. So we've shown that this function is a solution to this differential equation. So part a is complete. Part b, so solution to b. So solve this with y equals 3 and t equals 0. So basically, we know that whenever we have this de up here, this is the solution, okay? So when we have this one, look, a is negative 2. So we know that y equals c e to the negative 2x. We know that already just from using part a, right, from using matching. We know that in this problem, a is negative 2. Therefore, our solution should be this. So now we have to use this, which is called an initial condition, to find the value of c. It says y equals 3 when x equals, well it says, sorry, when x, should say x equals 0, I typoed, when x equals 0, it's a little mistake there. So in this case, um, we have 3 equals c e to the 0. So e to the 0 is 1, so you get 3 equals c. So c equals 3. So the final answer would be y equals 3 e to the negative 2x. And that would be the final answer. Oh, I see why I made the typo. So in the original question, um, they have an x here and a y here, but then they change this to a t. I, I don't know why they do that. They could have just, <laughs> they could have just left that as x. No big deal. Uh, that's the correct answer. Um, I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck.